Hey everybody, I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Had to come uh, check my schedule for the week, so I thought I would do this video from the garden. It's quite lovely over here. This is the garden of the location where I work. Got a nice uh, big hammock here. Could lay in this hammock for a few minutes. I'll hit there for a few minutes, but I don't really feel like laying down right now. But this is nice. Hammock time is always good. Just about to go do a little light Sunday afternoon yoga. Have enough coconut to get hydrated first. Been watching some videos this weekend. Like I've told you, a lot of times um, these subjects get in my head and um, I put some thought into them and uh, they come when the time is right. And I'd seen a couple of videos this weekend that just made me think, okay, yeah, I think I'm going to do this one. Reminds me of when I first got to this. So this is addressing um, people that are new to this lifestyle more so, but hey, maybe you've struggled with this. You know, one of the impressions that you can get when you first start, uh, when you first come to this lifestyle and you start watching videos and networking with people is, oh, this is a little elitist, isn't it? I mean, you hear all the whole food stories, or from what I understand, you guys call it in North America, if you ain't rich, whole uh, paycheck. Uh, you see all these things online, like I was looking at some retreats today that are mega expensive, like really expensive. Um, and, you know, you see people talking all the time about organic, 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 got to do organic, you know, organic and local, have to do organic and local. Now, what I want to make clear before I really get into this is, is I'm not making, I'm not knocking any of this stuff. I'm not knocking, there's nothing, I don't have something to get to people that have money. Nothing wrong with having money if you made your money in the good old-fashioned, honest way. And, you know, a lot of times, hey, people are going to spend. Like, people may criticize, like, oh, God, look at what they sp this person spent their money on. Well, you know, Michael Jordan used to say about this. People used to talk about his gambling habits, and he basically said, I'm Michael Jordan. Look at the kind of money I make. So it's a different scale, and there's really nothing wrong with that. As far as the vacations go, I know a little bit about that because I've been in the vacation before business before. And I'm planning on doing some uh, retreats and vacations down here in the future. The vacations are basically about your accommodations. If you're paying a lot to go to a retreat, just look and see what you're getting. Now, when I look at them, I'm not knocking them. I'm not saying they're, they're not really, you know, I'm, I think you get a lot for your money at a lot of them. It's just the fact I'm going to get to on all of this stuff is it can be intimidating because people are like, well, that's not me. I don't have those kind of resources, whether it's, you know, the food, the, the whole food, the eating organic, going on these fancy retreats or just whatever. You know, I kind of got that out of my head uh, pretty soon after I got into this lifestyle because I don't have that kind of money. You know, I'm just a regular Joe. I work down here. Um, I pick up jobs. I've got a job right now. I'll probably do some freelancing. Um, and about about six months after this job's over, you know, so I just I get by but I'm not one of the rich gringos down here um, And I think one of the videos I saw today was something where somebody was at a juice bar or health food store a Whole Foods or whatever and just spent an obscene amount on something once again not not knocking what anybody spends their money on. I would just like to, you know, you just don't want people to get a view that, it, that it's got to be like that. Like you have to have money to do this lifestyle. This is an expensive way to live. Um, you can make it work. You can make it work. You can make a high carb uh, vegan lifestyle work. Now, whether everybody can make a fully raw lifestyle work, depending on where you are, depending on your circumstances, that I don't know, but I do know for a fact that you can make a high-carb vegan lifestyle work. Um, and, and for me, you know, where I am, as long as you can get bananas. Bananas are my base. You know, bananas are, are pretty much in most places. I'm saying most places. I know somebody that's watching this out there is somewhere where bananas are hard to get or they're expensive. But in most places, you know, if, even if you got to rock that banana as the staple, bananas are fairly inexpensive. Um, greens don't tend to be a very expensive food item, um, no matter where you are. I even noticed in the States I was able to get organic greens for a fairly decent price. Now, next time I go, I could even, I could even cut the budget more. I could get, um, in my Walmart there, I could get big bags of collard greens, big bags of kale that weren't organic, but they were a lot more economical. Um, so, yeah, you just make it, you make do as far as the organic Yes, any time possible, and if you're in the financial situation or if you're around where you can get it reasonable, eat organic any chance you get. 
eat local any chance you get, but that isn't the priority. Eat quality food first. Eat, eat the best quality that you can get your hands on. And don't just throw your hands up in the air. If you can't get organic, you know, some people, do, well, you know, just because they can't get the best of the best, they go back about 20 levels. Like, okay, well, well I can't get organic, so I'm going to you know, eat some processed crap that I throw in my microwave. That just, that logic just doesn't work. Don't, just because you can't get the absolute best, don't go down to near the bottom of the barrel or the absolute worst. Um, but yeah, this is not a money lifestyle. I mean, it's easier if you had money. And don't get me wrong. I'm not going, don't let me be a hypocrite about, uh, even though I talk about the whole food thing from time to time, even though it is whole paycheck, if I had that big paycheck, in the States, yeah, I've seen goodies in there I like, so I'm not one of those. I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, I'd boycott that. I wouldn't do uh, Whole Foods. No, I'd be all up in Whole Foods, probably spending uh, $500 a grand a week, and you can easily do that if you have those resources. But just know, you know, if you've come to this lifestyle recently and you're a little discouraged or you're questioning about this, do the best you can. It's about eating fresh fruits and vegetables. It's about eliminating the process from your diet. This isn't something for the elite. This isn't something for the rich. If this is your first video watching me, watch more of my videos to get my essence and see how I live, where I live, what I look like, the same old ratty clothes I wear all the time, don't hardly ever wear a shirt, um, dirty feet. So I'm not some elitist. I should be living proof right here that um, this does not have to be um, an elite lifestyle and um, you know that's it that's it don't need to keep rambling for the day just wanted to give you a little um, hope if you know like I, like I said I remember I think I picked this up pretty quickly that yeah I don't need all that she she stuff the fanciness while well, I didn't have the I, I didn't have the opportunity of the, you know, uh, gourmet, raw restaurants and what have you. I did have a nice little restaurant that actually had good, clean food and it was a good, reasonable price. So um, I haven't had to deal with that very much. But I did at first. I was a little bit puzzled. I'm like, you know, is this kind of like the rich people's um, lifestyle? Is this like, you know, for all the money California people but then I you know the more I got into this I network with a lot of people that are just everyday people there's some people out there that are struggling there's some people out there that um, you know from time to time they'll ask questions in groups about how to get by on what I consider a ridiculously low amount of money which makes it really real and they're doing it they're just making do the best they can and that's all that any of us can do so anyhow, just like Sunday afternoon chat, we're getting ready to start a new week. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week coming up. Um, it's summertime for a lot of you. Uh, anybody uh, getting set to go on summer vacation yet or got that summer vacation planned? Uh, anyhow, I hope you're out enjoying this uh, summer weather. Hope you're getting some good, um, good, good fruit wherever you are. Hope the melons are good. Usually this time of year is right about when the melons are getting getting at their best. I'm hoping when I go to the States in another five, six weeks that there's going to be some good watermelons left for me. Anyhow, I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Hope this rocking isn't uh, going to be a problem when I look at this video. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, video from the garden and the hammock. Anyhow, have a great new week. Peace.